What's going on guys? We are back once again and we're finally going to be doing a Chucky review for Season 3. Now this is for a lot of you guys that were able to watch the finale and have watched this season. Now again, I'm mainly going to be talking about the whole season as a whole, my thoughts on the last episode, and my thoughts going into a possible fourth season. Now again, you guys know I have issues sometimes with the show as a whole. Now, I will say this. Eight episodes felt very short. Now, again, due to the writer's strike, due to everything we were dealing with within the um, the issues within Hollywood, again, that's the reason why that they cut this very short. Now, I will say this. In the last episode, I really enjoyed seeing the other Chuckies and then going into the spirit realm and even seeing how... De you know, Jake was having a moment with so-called good Chucky and he was getting fooled and I'm just going to say this. Can we at least get a hell, a hell of a hand for not only Brad Dorf but also Fiona Dorf for a hell of a freaking performance? That is the main thing I'm going to say is just a hell of a, of a performance with these two. They did such a good job at portraying these characters and of course Jennifer Tilly did a magnificent job as well. Again guys, I don't give a flying whatever about Jake, Devin, or Lexi. I don't care about them. I don't like them. I will give credit to where credit is due to the one who plays Jake doing a decent job of playing as Chucky I think he did a good job at portraying Chucky but at the same time I'm just I don't like those characters I, I do not like those characters I will never like those characters uh, especially with the ending them being in the almost like a village people type of situation uh, of how they dressed on Halloween and them being trapped honestly I find that really funny uh, I found that crazy of how Tiff was actually to escape prison and then at the same time meeting Chucky again and them having pro like I would assume like I, I don't think this is the last we're going to be seeing of the prototypes of the good guy doll and the doll that Tiff was in because again there's always one somewhere because again the last one that we knew of was the actual you know Jennifer Tilly was in that one and uh, it got smashed by a truck so now it's like, okay, that was possibly the last one. No, it's not. We have one more. And they actually got to meet the one that did all the dolls, which is interesting because sooner or later, I knew we were probably going to meet the one that created the dolls. And especially now him being a psychopath. And then I'm going to say this also, it's, it's very interesting on how they're writing Caroline because, again, Caroline is a very twisted individual and she's pretty much the kid that I would say Chucky always wanted and again is he going to use her for however long till it's good enough for him possibly so he's, he's probably just going to use her for however long and then may toss her to the side don't know yet um Tiff and Chucky back together again. Um, how long is that going to last? We, we don't know. Um, he had a point. They're always going to be looking for Jennifer Tilly. Um, there's been a lot of skepticism about if Jennifer Tilly is going to be returning uh, in person as Tiff. Uh, it's been very skeptical. Um, I was happy to see her in this. Same thing with Brad Dorf. I was very happy to see his version and of course Fiona playing um, the younger version of him. I think they did a good job. Now again, um, unfortunately, you know, a lot of these actors are getting older and they're obviously going to you think about retirement or they're just going to do voiceovers for the characters. Honestly, I'm okay with seeing Jennifer Tilly, a voiceover for Tiff. I'm same thing with Brad Dwarf as Chucky. Uh, they're, they're amazing actors. They're going to be able to bring it, whether it's just their voice on the screen or them being in person on screen. But was it a treat scene? Brad Dwarf as, uh, Charles Lee Ray one more time. It was a very much of a treat. I did enjoy myself. Uh, I enjoyed the season to a certain degree. There was a lot of times I felt like, hey, okay, let's go on to the next one. I don't care about this whatever crap with Devin and Jake. I didn't care about that. I passed up a lot of that stuff, even the stuff with Lexi I didn't care about. I was more concerned on, okay, how is Chucky going to survive, you know, getting older? Because that was a very new thing that they did. Now there's a lot of things that I'm kind of wondering. I'm like, okay, has Dumbala been, um, has there been a, like, to where they have appeased Ambala. Is that true? Don't know. 
Um, is it possible that we are, you know, what happened to Nika? You know, is she going to be stuck there as well with the rest of them? It, it, is Kyle and, of course, um, you know, are our lucky duo going to be getting them out? Don't, don't know. I mean, is, there's so many... Um, you know, things between Andy and Kyle, are they going to be the ones to kind of save the, the weird duo and then, or the weird trio. And then also of course saving, um, you know, Nika as well, you know, cause honestly I would just prefer Nika to survive. And then we're focusing on the OGs to finally do it. Like take Devin, Lexi and Jake out of it for a while and focus on the OGs for once, like focus it on them. You know, they're older, let them do it. Let, let, let them be who they are, man. It's not that hard. Like, let them be um, in the spotlight for a while. Because, again, that's what fans want. That's what fans have been wanting for several, you know, years, you know, before the show even started. And I think it's finally time we get a show like this again. And am I happy that we're seeing Chucky and Tiffany together again? Yeah, because it brought back a lot of memories from the fourth and fifth film. It's only going to be a matter of time before they start fighting. You know, it's only going to be a matter of time before they disagree on something. Are they going to change? We don't know. But it's going to be very interesting to see how it's going to progress in a possible fourth season. Um... But again, I think they kind of outdid themselves a little bit this season. I was really amazed with some of the effects. Uh, I was also kind of wondering what was the reason why the one that was killing, um, the, the, the main one that was behind the paranormal thing, like was he just trying to take over the White House? Was he just trying to blow it up? But it was, it, was it just me or when he was dying, it almost looked like he had glasses on him. So it makes you wonder what his true motives were because we did not get to know what his true motives were even though you know they say oh yeah we know what his true motives were yeah he was a psychopath but at the same time it was like okay you know let's just go ahead and do this but either way i think this episode left on a high note a lot of people that are chucky fans i think this is what chucky fans wanted to actually have chucky and tiff win quote unquote <clears throat> just like they did in cult of chucky that way you can kind of go into what has happened and what exactly we are going to be seeing further along into the franchise um i don't think the franchise is going to quit again chucky has been on the gas for a while now i don't think it's going to quit until we actually see a uh, change in them but again who knows but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below if you guys do your channel about subscribing leave a big fat like on the video if you guys enjoyed and also what do you guys think about this as a whole did you guys enjoy this season was it okay was it bad was it something you just was like okay hey i'm tired of this let's just go ahead and move on but once again let me just go ahead and give a round of a hands to brad and fiona dwarf and jennifer tilly for our amazing performance and hopefully we're going to be able to get them back and then we can enjoy it some more so let me know what you guys think and i'll see you as always on the next one